There are a few other advanced options when working with keyboard shortcuts. This includes the ability to decide how to resolve conflict, as well as how to back up or export the sets. If you find yourself working with a particular option here, you may notice that you want to make changes to certain keys. I notice that Command Q is mapped to Quit Premiere Pro. If I try to assign another key here, such as Command S, it tells me that this is currently in use for save. Well, it wouldn't be a good idea to map the Command S Save command to the Quit functionality, although you can actually do that. I can choose to undo and it removes it from the current command. Let's try that again here. This time I'm going to drag it onto Command S and you see that it swapped that out. Again, it tells me that that was previously used. If I clear, it leaves the key empty. In that case, clear removes both the new shortcut key and the previous one. So undo will take you back and clear gives you a blank slate. Let's go ahead and remap that save command. I'll just type in next to this here and press command S and it's now saved. Now additionally, as you're working, you'll notice the ability here to save your sets. Be sure to invoke save as periodically and consider coming up with your own keyboard shortcuts. You'll now see that that appears in the pop-up list. As soon as you start to modify that keyboard shortcut and add one more, let's go ahead here and just type in a command. I'll do maximize active frame and I'm going to map that to F2. There we go. You'll see that it continues to modify that set, which is great. On the other hand, if you're working with one of the default presets here and you were to modify that, you'll see that that switches to custom. These default built-in ones that are the master ones shipping with Premiere Pro cannot be modified. However, you are free to modify your own ones. So if I were to map this here to the keys, there we go. I did it there. And now I were to switch and switch back, you'll notice that those changes were not saved by default. However, you can freely modify these and they'll be stored temporarily. If you decide you want to permanently save it, make sure you click Save As and click OK. And then confirm that you want to overwrite. Additionally, while you're here, you have the ability to copy to your clipboard. This will place all of your keyboard shortcuts on your clipboard. And if you were to switch to a text document, you can quickly paste those. Maybe you want to share with another user, or you just want the ability to find things. Well, there's all of my keyboard shortcuts from Premiere Pro quickly copied over and pasted. That works quite well. Remember, your keyboard shortcuts will be synced with your Creative Cloud account. Additionally, if you want to manually back them up, they can be found on your hard drive. After saving something, if you do a search for a .qys file for keyboard shortcuts, you'll be able to find your keyboard shortcut file. These will likely be stored in your Adobe Premiere Pro folder within your user settings or documents folder. But a search for a .qys file on your system should find your keyboard shortcuts. This means you can manually back them up or give them to another user without syncing through Creative Cloud. The new customizable keyboard shortcuts are a welcome addition. I recommend that as you work with Premiere Pro, update one or two new shortcuts a day. If you find yourself frequently trying to find a command or going to a menu, consider assigning it to an available shortcut slot. Don't spend hours remapping your keyboard, but instead do it a couple of keys a day. That way you can learn the new shortcuts as well as evolve over time to how you naturally edit.